What's up guys, this is Mercadurka. Now that I'm done with your sister, let's get started on this commentary. And uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is a little throwback to a Grind My Gears segment that I've been doing. And it is in regard to this commentary. I did the entire thing last night, late last night, because I like to render and upload overnight. Because my internet takes forever to do it. It literally takes me all night to render and upload these. So I like to do it overnight. So then I wake up the next morning to a fresh video and pages full of people commenting on it. And that's just my way of doing it. I like that. And I finished the commentary. This is a 10 minute long video. So it was an arduous commentary. Got it all done. And I looked down. And for some reason I had forgotten to press record on the audio that I used. And I just... Oh my gosh, I was so, so disappointed because it was a golden commentary. I was so excited about it. And I was like, oh, people are going to love this. Uh, and it was just a good spur of the moment thing, one of those one at a time, one time things. And unfortunately, I lost it. And so, well, I didn't lose it because I never had it. And so I have to do it again. It's all right. I took a whole day break to recuperate, gain my, gain my strength back because it's so taxing to do these. Not really, it's pretty easy. Uh, anyway to the game. The reason it started into the game is because this is a 10 minute, or a very long game. It was about 14 minutes long uh, with the, all of the rounds intact, and so I decided to upload it with little splits and clips and uh, where you guys could watch it but not have to watch the boring parts. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. You get exciting gameplay and you don't have to watch the walk around and sneak and the, the boring parts. So I hope that's fine for you guys, and if not, I apologize, but I'm not a YouTube partner or signed by Machinima, so the 10 minute cap is firmly enforced. Anyway, on to the gameplay. Search and destroy and invasion using the Kimbo USPs as my secondary and a red dot AK-47 as my primary. And um, I'm using an assault rifle, which really isn't that common for me. I've been trying to get into them recently because, I mean, there's no reason not to use an assault rifle. They're so much better than every other kind of gun. And you put yourself at a severe disadvantage when you only snipe or choose to just use interesting classes like ACOG MP5 or Thermal Mini Uzi, and I, I kind of felt like winning. And, I don't know, I've gotten on kind of more of a winning kick. I hadn't really cared that much about winning as long as I was having fun before, but the last few days I've started playing with uh, uh, Woody's Gamertag and FPS Russia and a few other friends from Game Battles, and I realize it's a lot of fun to get in a party and just run train on people and win. And so, yeah, I've been trying to focus on that a little bit more, get some get some high-score wins. And uh, that brings me to a question for you guys. I have a uh, demolition game in Team Tech. The score isn't that beast, but my party and I, we just completely brutalize the other team. It's like we are completely in sync, working together really well. And I want to know if you guys would like to see that, because even though it's not completely epic and ridiculous, like, 50-0 and 0 game. It, it's like 20-something and 5, I don't know. But it's a teamwork game, and that's what it's supposed to be. And we pull off the win, and I think you guys would like it, so leave it in the comments below if you'd like me to upload that. And, uh, yeah, so just let me know. And the only thing with that is I think I might be using a UMP in that game, but I'm not sure, so, I don't know, don't judge me if I am. But regardless, it seems like a lot of fun, so just let me know. Um... What to talk about? Man, this is a long, long video. And, oh, I was looking at my Rap Snacks video, uh, which is one that I made about, well, Rap Snacks, these really, really silly snack treats that have a picture of little Romeo on it, and it says, like, stay in school. And Anyway, I was really hungry last night, and I had a friend over, and we were like, I don't want to drive out and get somewhere. It was like 1 a.m. The only place open would be Taco Bell, and I don't want to put that filth into my body just to store as disgusting, saturated fat. And so we decided to <laughs> as a healthier alternative, I suppose, to crack open a nice fresh bag of wrap snacks, and words cannot begin to describe the revolting taste that those held. They were so unbearably bad. I recommend that each and every one of you go to your local mobile or 66 or whatever gas station you have, and if they have it, buy yourself a nice bag of wrap snacks. The one with Little Romeo on the front. Little Romeo? Little Romeo? I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to... Are there teas or... I don't know. Someone tell me that. I don't know if you're supposed to say Lil or Little for the rapper's names. Anyway, I digress. So go out, grab yourself a bag of those, and try them, and tell me they are not the most disgusting snack of all time. It's it's almost like as bad as those Harry Potter beans that people used to buy that were flavored like horse manure and grass and vomit. And, I don't know, it's just kind of fun to try something so bad. And, yeah. Anyway, on to some Grind My Gears stuff. Let me think. Uh, to those of you who are new to my channel, the whole Grab My Gears thing, 
It's just I talk about things that irritate me in a lighthearted manner. I'm not complaining. I'm not moaning and just bitching about things. I'm just kind of, like, just kind of messing around. So don't get too offended by it. And the first thing, really the only thing that is gonna, I'm going to say talk about today is uh, about private school kids who dress like gangsters. And this particularly affects me because I grew up my entire life attending private school and consequently there were very few gangsters there. There were no nobody was like a dangerous person that you're like, oh man, I don't want to see them after school because I mean they're all they're all good kids. And some of them just insisted, however, on wearing big baggy basketball shorts with high tops that were like purple and a sideways fifty nine fifty hat and a Tupac T shirt, eight sizes too big. And they would walk around saying sup and yo and acting like they have ever been in any danger in their life. Which, you, by staring at these kids, you knew, like, the worst thing that's ever happened to them is they got a B plus on the chemistry test. These kids have never been in any danger ever, and yet they're pretending that they go out every day and, and deal with the slums. But anyway, that, that's a big pet peeve of mine when people try and pretend like they're gangster when they're obviously suburban kids. And, yeah. Anyway, and... Uh, don't misconstrue this. This isn't me talking about wiggers and white people who want to act black. This can go just as much for black people, because there are black kids at my school who I knew were very well off and were never in any real danger in their life, and they would try and act gangster. And, you know, both of those things irritate me. And, in my opinion, I don't think you should ever want to act gangster, because, I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't want to be in a dangerous situation. I prefer being nice and safe in my home. But maybe I'm just a baby. I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway... On to the gameplay, uh, we're, I believe we're, yeah, we're still winning at this point. They come back to tie it up, because if you haven't noticed, oh, actually, you won't notice, because I clipped all the clips out, but my friends who I'm playing with here, they were using classes like Riot Shield C4, Riot Shield Throwing Knife, I think one of them even had a Riot Shield and a Stinger, which is completely worthless in Search and Destroy, I mean, there's no kill streaks. And I was getting, <laughs> I, regrettably, I actually yelled at one of them, like, come on, I gotta win this game, because I'm doing so well, I wanna be able to post it on my channel. And so they picked it up at the end, so big thanks to Mr. Brett Kotner for coming through for me. Brett is uh, one of my friends who got sick of people asking him what his name was on Xbox Live, so he literally just changed his gamer tag to his name, which is hilarious to me. I laugh so hard every time he comes in. And, yeah. Ugh. Oh. I don't know how the other commentators do it, but uh, if you are another commentator and you're watching this, tell me when you do your commentaries, because I tend to do mine very late at night so I can upload them overnight, but I know that some, some commentators like to get them done early, the, early in the morning, and that's completely foreign to me, so let me know, and tell me if you guys think that my upload schedule is okay. Uh, I tr I'm trying to get it done every other day. Unfortunately, my girlfriend got her wisdom teeth removed uh, early, well, by the time you see this, it will be yesterday morning, and I've been taking care of her at her house, and she's been on her pain pillar, pain pillar, <laughs> on her painkillers, and she's been all loopy and goofy and uh, feeling nauseous sometimes, so I've been trying to take care of her, so if I cannot get this video up in time, please forgive me. I'm doing my best to keep it to the every other day thing, so yeah, and I don't know, tell me what you guys want to see. I put, I put a lot of search and destroy up. And I know most of you say, keep doing Search and Destroy, because a lot of other commentators don't do much Search and Destroy. But I'm sure that some of you want to see other gameplays, which is why I think I'm going to upload that demolition. Um, a couple have requested a free-for-all, but, you know, I'm sorry guys, but I, I'm not going to post a free-for-all. Because, I mean, it's just too easy to win if you camp in a corner, and really, all that a free-for-all is, is first person to find the best camping spot who has scavengers, a shotgun, and claymores. And... I mean, it's no fun. <laughs> and if you're running around quickscoping in one like me, it's extraordinarily difficult to win unless you're in there with just a bunch of BKs. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm playing the bomb here, and there's one guy left on their team. Unfortunately, he's a no-show because he saw the devastating power of my AK and fled in terror, as FPS Russia would say. And we come out with a win. It was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, so guys, leave a comment. Tell me what you like, didn't like, want me to start, want me to stop about my commentaries because... This is your guys' channel, too. I do this to entertain you guys and hopefully teach you more about the game a little bit. I know I'm not like C Nanners or Woody or someone who has a lot of knowledge about the game, but I like to think I have some. So just let me know, and I'll do my best to help you guys. Peace.